Welcome back guys to our banished playthrough here. Let's go and get this started now. So, so taking a look at our uh, at our city here, we're trying to grow. That's what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to become bigger, badder, with a lot more people. Um, I feel like we're getting close to the, uh, the limit here as to how many people we can have. Um, I feel like we'll probably get up to 100. And then our entire map will be filled up with with uh, the amount of people that I, that it can sustain. Now, I could probably push it farther, but I'm not experienced enough to push it farther. Um, oh, but check it out with all these chickens. We have 10 of 10 chickens. We have 5 of 5 and 4 of 4. So we're definitely utilizing our, uh, our livestock here to actually help out our town. So let's take a look at how much food we have. We have... In excess of about 1800 food right now. Oh, now it's 15. Uh, and we're keeping ahead on our. Wow, look at that. We're, we're keeping pretty good uh, ahead on our actual house situation, which is great. And honestly, I don't really know what we need to wait for at this point. Um, I want to grow larger, uh, which I had found out that actually I was doing the exact thing that you're supposed to do to grow larger, which is just build houses for every two adults. Um, which, let's go ahead and count that now, shall we? Let's here, 9, and then plus 6 is 15, uh, 19, right? Yeah, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25 plus 9 is 34, so 34 times 2 is 68, 68 people. You think so? How come I'm down to 62? Oh, that's right, because everyone just died of old age. Wow. Okay, let's check to see what our, oh, what our merchant has here. Sheep. Already got sheep, man. Come by next time. Let's see here. What else can I do to make our city? Wow. Look at our cemetery. It's full. Our cemetery is full. That's that's hardcore, man. That is legit as far as uh, situations go. So let's go ahead and build ourselves another cemetery because now, now since you have one cemetery, you got to start building more cemeteries because then people are like, well, we had one cemetery and now it's full. Can you give us another cemetery? Because like, we want to fill that one up too. So um, where should I put my secondary cemetery here? Hmm. You know what? F it. I'll put it right here. F it. Kind of sound like a noob. Let's do 14 by 10, that works. That way everyone can leave, live next to the really creepy cemetery. And, uh, I don't know, be creeped out. Is there anything that can fit between these two? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. And I kind of misdesigned my setup here. Hmm. Let's see. Could I put anything? Blacksmith? I could put a secondary blacksmith here. But I don't need a secondary blacksmith. Hmm. Let's see here. What should I put in that spot? I guess what I could do is I could put like a like a well and then just put road around it and make it look like a courtyard. It requires six people. What else am I? Oh, that. Perfect. It's gonna get built nicely. Finally, we're gonna have our own fucking uh, well. It's gonna be good. Hmm. 
take a look at our where is it production see I want to take a look at how much food we're getting from each area as far as uh, would be an overview so way I can see specifically what foods I'm bringing in I want to know if I can uh, basically just mass mass mine everything out here, get rid of both of our gatherers, get rid of our foresters, and survive just on crops. So I can build all this into crops. You know what? I think we're going to do it. I'm going to throw caution to the wind. So let's see here. Foresters, you're all laborers now. Let's see here. If I can remember how to fucking cut this shit down, I will. Oh, that's right. I'm an idiot. It's been a long morning. Remove this structure. That's my other forester. Oh, is it just up here? Yeah, he is. Okay, let's see here. Get rid of that one, too. Let's get rid of my gatherers. Let's get rid of my hunters. Let's get rid of all of these resources right here first. Do I have a stockpile close by? I do, but I need a secondary stockpile. I have two stockpiles. I think we'll be fine. No, one more stockpile. Or actually, I'll just extend the current stockpile. This might kill me, but it's going to be fun. You understand me? It's going to be fun. So what we'll do is we'll pause here. We're going to reallocate all of our people to crops. And fish. Well, yeah, we'll keep the fish. They don't take up a lot of space. Good thing I did this right now because we have 4,500 store food, so we have plenty of food right now. Ten more fields is probably good. Reserve of iron is low, reserve of food is low. Interesting. I think we're about to solve that problem, guys. I think we're about to solve that problem. So, so let's, let's go ahead and do uh, corn, squash, corn, squash, corn. Squash, corn, squash, corn. And prioritize this. Thank you. Corn. Yeah, and then what I'll do is I'll just do. Yeah. Cool. We have successfully replaced all of our food with, well actually we haven't successfully yet, we have successfully uh, made it look like we've replaced all of our food. All the way down the center, all the way down the center, all the way down the center. Cool. 
perfect. Oh god, this is gonna be so cool. I still have 13 laborers out here just knocking it out. Let's go ahead and just zoom out and then watch the magic happen here. So my plan here was basically to um, to mine everything out, to reallocate my resources because I've become complacent with what I have. And the idea is also to continue to grow while I'm doing this. So I'm going to bring in literally a ton of food. In fact, I need to raise the cap on the food to about 10,000. Here. And if that... Can I do 10,000? Yes, I can. Oh, nomads have arrived. Okay. Let's go ahead and do 13. Allow. Let's see. So what I'll do first is I will build a boarding house right here. And then, what, what does it take to build a boarding house? Not much at all. Pepper seeds. Hmm. What do I have in my inventory right now? Not enough stuff. That's okay. That is perfectly fine. So I'll, I'll build this. Don't worry, guys. We'll get a home in a sec. We'll go to the boarding house first. Then what I'll do is I'll queue up some houses. 13 people, that's six more houses. Let's do this. first. You know what? Maybe not pause these. Maybe cancel the boarding house and just build the houses. See how this works. I might build a boarding house anyways just in case. Because I kind of kind of prematurely uh, uh, committed to the nomads without realizing how much food I actually had. So Not to be worried. Oh nice. Oh nice. This is good. Food's about to skyrocket. Should probably put our position in here. That would be smart. That would be smart. Put an extra fisherman in there. We're about good and everything else though. Let's do a herbalist too, just in case. You never know. You never know. So what's going on here? They're building all the roads first. Interesting. There you go, guys. Get to work. Build yourselves your houses. So I have a physician here, and I have the medicine, and what I'm supposed to do is nomads come in and they kind of bring disease, so I'm just making sure that they don't kill my people as all. Well. But they're a great boost to the economy, which is awesome. The fact that I got 13 is amazing.
We will survive the winter, my friends. Let's see here. We have 28 leather. How much wool? We have zero wool though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to leather coats right now. It's okay. We're, we're building coats now. What I might do is I might build a second, uh, no, don't get ahead of yourself. I was going to build a second tailor, but I'm like, I don't need a second tailor. I just want a second. What is this? Why is there like food just hanging out? Workers are working overtime here for their firewood. This looks nice. Why is there food just like laying around? We have a lot of food. I didn't pay attention to how high it got, but we have a lot of food. That's good. I have a lot of space now. Some cold people. Actually, there's some cold houses. It doesn't show any people up here. Um, but I feel like we'll do okay. Oh no, the teacher died. That sucks. What's up, man? How's it going? Warm coats. You know? I just might do that. Let's see here. What can I offer to trade you? Hmm. Iron tools, fuck it. Iron tools. my coats okay they're there move those coats out get those people those coats any moment now bam people's got coats nobody should be cold perfect nice I literally came at the perfect time. That's amazing. Let's see what I can order from. Oh, interesting. I think warm coats are the best coats, aren't they? Or are wool coats the best coats? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't really need any of this, but this is cool. So I have 6, 12, 18. There's a weird little setback going on here. So 6, 12, 18, 21, 25. 25 plus 6, 31. 31 plus 9, 40 houses. I have houses for 80 people. Jesus. Oh, that's why. Hmm. 
is this one? Oh, I didn't see 43. Oh, look at this. A couple of uh, old people decided that they wanted their own house. Jesus. So we survived the winter just fine with our food. But are we going to survive the spring and summer? No, we're not. So here's what we're going to do. To facilitate more foods. I'm going to build more crops. Build some above this, that would be amazing. Oh, oh, it's perfect. I did it accidentally. Build two more. And then build some roads. Build the roads up here. Hmm. So what I have right now might help me survive with just the fish that I have, barely, for the next couple of months. This food will come in, I'll turn these into jobs, in fact I can turn them into jobs right now. So much corn and squash, so much corn and squash. My people are going to be sick of corn and squash in a bit. Perfect. It's early summer, you think they'll make food? Nope. Of course not. see here. So right now I'm just taking a look, finding out what's going on. We have so much food, um, and so much food uh, production, which is awesome. And we don't have to build a house for like eight people, well, until we have like nine more people actually, because um, we have 40 houses. But we should probably build a house at like 70. Six, probably a couple houses at 76, because those old people still have those houses. So, kind of a, either evict them away from the die out. And I don't feel like evicting them, so. The reserve of food is no longer low, guys. Let's see. I kind of want more nomads to come in. That was exciting. More adults. Cool. So here's what I'll do. I will go ahead. Have them do all this. And then I will not have them do these. Those will be a pain to get to. But I want people to bring in more and more fucking resources. Ooh. 
Ooh, a child named Keen is born. That's nice. I think we made the transition quite well. Doesn't seem like any problems have, have occurred. We uh, replaced our food stores with uh, the right kinds of items and it seems to work out just fine. The foresters were there to keep the forest alive for the, for the herbalist, so we were out eight people for each ones that we had. And uh, let's be honest, the hunters probably weren't doing much anyways. These guys were slow. This guy was slow last time too. Probably just because he, he lives so far away from his, his home though. I'm going to take these out and put houses down here. And houses in, the, in between here so people have places to live close to where they work. I feel like that would really help out. But so far, I mean, everyone's been able to do it just fine. So it's not terrible. Next year, I hope, uh... Because right now, our amount of stored food is not as high as I want it to be at the beginning of winter. It should be like at 4,000, um, which is why we built this. In fact, can I maybe possibly have more I can one of these days I'm I'm gonna get stone roads but right now Right now, I don't need stone roads. What I need is roads. And Dagnabbit, the dirt roads have to do, the dirt roads have to do. We have a lot of laborers during the winter though. Oh wow, so many laborers. Hey everyone, we just got the harvest in. It's all going great, oh yeah? Well, now since you're done with the harvest, go cut down some trees for the winter. Basically, exactly the way our, uh, our, our our town runs itself, basically. I guess for right now. You guys want to go ahead and increase the priority of these things, please? Perfect timing. We've grown quite a bit this this episode, guys. Quite a bit. Let's go ahead and put one more builder on here, and I'll have him make all of the uh, all the rest of the roads here. We have 20 students and 25 children. Oh my god! I didn't even look up there. This is going to be insane. <laughs> this is going to be insane. Let's go ahead and plan some houses, shall we? Hmm. What I'll do is I'll do this. Roads. Oh, nice. Oh, I didn't even know that road existed. Perfect. So, what I'm planning here. I'm planning, oh, 
planning to, to uh, get ready for all of these adults that are about to come in. And by golly, it's going to be a lot. It is going to be a lot. Whew, all right. So let's go ahead and pause most of these houses. And then we'll go ahead and build those next episode. So thanks so much guys for watching. This is some creepy music right now. Thank you so much for thank you, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button if you like what you see. Uh, come back next time. Uh, we will be building an empire of the people. See you guys next time.